Hey everyone, and welcome to the Oklahoma Hall of Fame and Gaylord Pickens Museum Virtual Summer Thursdays. We are so excited you guys are here to join us for Superhero Day, and we can't wait to get started. All right. So this is our awesome building located in Midtown Oklahoma City. Uh, we absolutely love this building and can't wait until we can be open again and have you all here with us to experience the fun exhibits and fun ex programs we have here. Um, our mission is to tell Oklahoma's story through its people. And so every day we take advantage of telling the stories of inspiring Oklahomans because we believe that our people are our greatest asset. So I want to share a little bit with you guys about Oklahoma Hall of Fame member Dr. Nazi Zudi, who was originally from Lebanon but moved to the United States in 1950 for medical training. Uh, he's considered a pioneer in heart surgery practices, and Dr. Zudi performed Oklahoma's first heart transplant in 1985. You can see Dr. Zudi here in his scrubs and his lab coat, and we want to just take this time to thank all of our doctors, nurses, first responders, and essential workers that have worked so diligently to keep us all safe during this time. So for those of you that are familiar, we absolutely love story time, and this is one of our favorites, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into Dex the Heart of a Hero. Dexter was a little dog. His legs were little, his tail was little, his body was little. He looked like a plump sausage sitting on four little meatballs. Being the size that he was, Dex was often overlooked. The other dogs grew tired of waiting for Dex to catch up when they played chase, and after a while, they forgot to invite him at all. No one really seemed to notice him, except when Clevis, the tomcat, demonstrated how he could stand right over Dex and not even ruffle his fur. Yes, everything about Dex was little, except for his dreams. He wanted to be a hero. He could just see it. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night, but wanting and being are two different things. Dex lived on dreams until one day, after crawling out from under Clevis yet again, he decided there had to be more to life than gazing at the underside of a cat. There had to be more to him. If he could be a hero, he would. So Dex started training. He read every superhero comic book he could find. He watched every hero movie ever made. He went to the library. Furiously, he studied, knowing everything depended on him. Dex figured that a hero must have strong muscles. He needed exercise and lots of it. Dex started trotting to the corner and back every morning. He hopped over every crack in the sidewalk. He struggled to climb the garbage pile up and over and down, then up and over and down again. All day long, he worked, day after day, even at bedtime when he wanted to flop on the rug with his tongue hanging out. Dex forced himself to circle five extra times. The mighty Dex pressed on through the wind and rain and storm and fatigue. When it got easier to run to the corner and back, Dex did it again and then again. Then he dragged a sock full, filled with sand as he ran, then two socks. When Clevis was bored and stood in the middle of the sidewalk to block his way, Dex dropped to the ground and slid right under him. He was too busy to be bothered by Clevis. Dex was tired. He was sore. He was working so hard that he almost forgot what he was working for. But one night, as he dragged himself to bed after his last set of push-ups, Dex stopped in front of the mirror and flexed. He could feel them. He could see them. Muscles! Now Dex didn't take the stairs. He skimmed them. He leaped over hydrants. He vaulted up curbs. He could jump over the garbage mountain without touching the top. He could run like the wind. He felt as if his legs had springs. Faster than a rolling ball, stronger than the toughest rawhide, able to leap tall fences in a single bound. Only one thing was missing. Finally, a small brown package arrived. Dex ripped it open. His hero suit. It was red with a shiny green cape and it fit like a glove. Dex loved the way it felt. He loved the way it looked and he loved the feeling he had when he put it on. He was ready. With the courage of a lion, the strength of a bear, and the heart of a hero, when Dex went out in his suit for the very first time, he looked up the street and down. He noticed a young pup trying to cross the street. Dex sprang into action. May I help you, he asked. He guided the wide-eyed pup across the street and grinned as the pup stared up at him with his mouth hanging open. The pup whispered, wow, it's super dog, super dog. Dex liked the sound of that. Of course, when Clevis saw Dex, he just had to comment. Hey, Dex, where's the party? And when he saw him a few days later, Clevis called out, look, everybody, it must be Halloween. Anybody got a treat for Dex? Dex was so busy that he was able to ignore Clevis, for the most part. The only time his face even got red was, in, was when Clevis yelled, where'd you get that dress up? Dex had to wonder if Clevis saw anything but the suit. Didn't he understand that the suit was just a way to let people know he was there to help? The sun glinted off of his emerald cape as Superdog raced to the rescue. There was a mouse he saved from a sewer, a purse snatcher he tackled. He fixed his neighbor's sprinkler. He found a lost kitten. He pulled a rat away from a live wire. He tracked down a lost wallet, put out a trash fire, and organized a neighborhood cleanup day. 
It seemed that now, whenever anyone needed help, they turned to Dex, and Dex had never been happier. Late one evening, there was a banging at the door. When Dex answered, it seemed as if the whole neighborhood was yipping and yelling in a panic. It's Clevis, they shouted. He's stuck in a tree. Hurry, Dex, hurry. Dex raised his eyebrows. It was not like Clevis to move enough to get into any trouble. In a flash, he was dressed and ready. It was clearly a desperate situation. As he got closer, Dex could see Clevis. He had been chasing a squirrel to the top of the tree, but had slipped and was hanging by one claw from a slender branch. He was yowling for all he was worth. I'm slipping, Clevis screeched. Help me. Dex looked desperately around for something to climb on. There were no boxes or ladders, not even any trash cans. Then Dex looked at the crowd. Quick, everybody, Dex shouted. I've got an idea. Dex leaped onto the end of the teeter-totter facing the tree, pushing it to the ground. Everybody, on the other end, one, two, three. All the animals jumped together on the other end of the teeter-totter, catapulting Dex into the air. He soared over the crowd, his ears and cape streaming out behind him. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night. Dex scrambled onto the branch next to Clevis. Quickly, he pulled off his cape and tied its four corners onto the screeching cat. Jump, Dex shouted. Jump, Clevis. With an ear-piercing shriek, Clevis let go. The billowing cape caught the air and parachuted the big cat to the ground. Dex backed up and slid to the ground amidst the cheers of the crowd. Dex was bruised and tired, but he forgot his discomfort as Clevis sheepishly lumbered over, still tangled in the green cape. Thanks, Dex. You really are a hero. Dex didn't think he could feel any better, but he did, just a little. The next day, when Clevis sidled up next to him and whispered, Say, Dex, could I be your partner? Dex looked the big tomcat up and down. It would take a lot of work to turn Clevis into a hero. He could hardly wait. Sure, said Dex with a grin. Sure. With twice the brains and triple the brawn, our heroes for John ever ready to lend a helping paw. What do you guys think about that? Dex can't became quite the hero, didn't he? Well, we love craft time too, and so we're going to go ahead and get started making our own superhero cards. So this, you have, if you don't have your craft kit, you're going to need cardstock and glue dots, some superhero printouts. Uh, scissors and some crayons as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, my, my craft as we make it together. All right, so I'm gonna move over here so we can see a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get all of our supplies out of our craft kit for starters. So we make sure we pull everything out. All right, I got everything and I'm gonna keep my bag over here out of my way. And I'm gonna go ahead and move my scissors and my crayons over there. And then there's a couple of popsicle sticks in here too. Move these glue dots. All right, so there's some popsicle sticks and you have some other, you have some other um, crafts that look like this. This is a bonus craft that we threw in for everybody. And so um, they'll turn out looking just like this. All you have to do is color them and cut them out and then you can put them on some popsicle sticks just like these. So that way, um, if, if you get a little bit ahead of us today, you can work on coloring on these, all right? Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. And the first thing I wanna do is show you guys what we're gonna be making. So here's some examples of what we're gonna make. So we have this one here where it looks just like this and you open it like this and it says thank you inside. So this way you can put a note in. And then you have this one here and this one opens this way. All right, so we're gonna make these awesome superhero cards today and then you can give them to whoever you want to. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to set this stuff aside. We need to make our, we need to make um, our handprint. So we're going to fold our paper in half hamburger style. And we're going to look at it just like this. And you're going to put your hand down to trace it. Well, you guys can see my hand's a little bit big. Um, so what I want us to do, we're going to grab some crowns here. I'm going to dump mine out right here. Perfect. All right. So for mine, I'm going to turn it. Since my hand's a little bit bigger, I'm going to turn it this way and lay my hand just like this so that my thumb, you can see how my thumb is kind of on the edge over here and that'll form that part where we can fold it. So I wanna start down here at the base of my hand and go like this. I wanna trace my hand like this. All right. We wanna make sure we get all of those fingers nice and traced out. All right. I'm gonna stop right here at the base of my hand instead of going all the way down on my wrist. So now you can see that, and I'm going to curve it just like that, all right? So the next thing we're gonna do is cut our hand out. And I'm actually gonna use this one here, so that way you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, so before we cut ours out, we want to go ahead and color our, color, um, our hand, and it'll be the color of the bodysuit. 
So whatever color you want your bodysuit to be, go ahead and start coloring that. Don't worry too much about coloring inside the lines because we're gonna cut it out. So I made mine green because green is my favorite color. We're just gonna color our whole hand like this. All right, how's everybody doing? Are we getting our hands colored? Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna cut them out. Okay. Okay, is everyone ready to cut them out? Okay, let's get started. Now, you don't wanna cut down here, and if you did it this way, you don't wanna cut here either because that's where it, uh, that's where it folds. So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna follow this line we made, and I'm gonna cut my hand out. All right, for me, it's a little bit easier to just cut that off and move it out of my way over there. So that way I don't have a bunch of extra scraps hanging on. All right. How's everybody doing? Doing good? All right. Be thinking about what powers, what superpowers you want your hero, you want your superhero to have, and then you can write about them on the inside and give it to the person that you see as your superhero. So start thinking about those people in your life that mean lots and lots to you and you see them as superheroes. Okay, we're getting closer everybody. After we do this, we'll be able to cut out, we'll be able to color and cut out all of their, all of our hero card, um, all of their masks and their eyes and everything else. All right, we're almost there guys. Did you guys figure out what superpowers you want them to have on the inside? Did you figure out who you're gonna give it to? I think I am gonna give mine to a friend of mine because she is my superhero. Okay, so now that we have our hand cut out, we're actually gonna see how it opens just like this. See how it opens just like that, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside over here and next, I want to take, I want to get this print out. It has all of these different masks and things on it. And so, and then the shields as well. So we're going to pick whichever one we want and we're going to color it before we cut it out because it's a little bit easier that way. So I want to do this one. And again, don't worry too much about coloring in those lines. Just work around the eyes. All right. Okay, we're getting closer. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and color my superhero's eyes as well, just here in the corners. Next, I need a shield for my superhero, right? Okay, I'm going to do the lightning bolt because I think it's cool, but I'm going to do it red instead. And then I want to do the outside of it blue to match my mask. All right, is everyone doing good? All right, if you want to hold yours up and let me see, I'd love to see them. Oh, those look so good. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and cut out our mask and our shield. Okay, and remember if you get a little bit ahead of us, don't worry, you have that bonus craft to work on too. So if you wanna go ahead and be coloring those for your superhero puppets, you can. And if you don't have, if you don't have a popsicle stick at home, don't worry about it. You can use a pencil or a straw or um, any other kind of, um, kind of a hard plasticky thing, even a skewer that you eat um, like kebabs and things off of will work. And if you don't want them to be a superhero, no worries. You can just put them on your, put them on the fridge or anything else. All right, so my mask is cut out. I'm gonna set that aside while I cut out my shield. We are getting so close, you guys. These superheroes are gonna turn out awesome. I just know it. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside so it's out of our way. 
now we have all of our pieces here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to we want to take our glue dots and we are going to use glue dots to put our mask on. And I'm going to put mine on just like that. And we're going to I think that's what I'm going to do mine like. Okay, so I'm going to use my glue dots on the back of my on the back of my mask and I'm going to go ahead just like this. All right, and I'm going to put, I'm going to use two, one on each end, but you want to make sure you're putting it in a spot that's going to end up on the, on your hand part. So make sure you think about that a little bit. All right, and press real, real hard to make sure we get that glue dot on there. Okay, see how it's on there? You can kind of see the shiny. It's a little bit harder to see on the white paper, but you can kind of see the shiny on the end there. All right, I'm going to do it just like that. I'm going to press real hard on that to make sure it sticks. All right. Okay. So I've got my I've got my mask on and now I need to put my shield on. And your mask will probably stick with one glue dot too if you want to use your glue dots for your um for your popsicle stick puppets too. All right. We got it on just like that. Perfect. Now I've got my shield on. Look how cool that is. I made my own superhero card. Okay, so now I need to write a message on the inside, right? I'm gonna write it down here. You are my hero. And you can write whatever you want in there. If you wanna write your name at the bottom, I'm gonna write mine too. That way they know who it's from. All right, guys, so look, now we have these awesome superhero cards and with a message on the inside, and now we can give them to our, now we can give them to the people we see as our superheroes. Don't forget about your bonus craft too, if you want to do that. Um, and I just want to remind everyone about this afternoon at two o'clock, you'll be able to join us for our, uh, you'll be able to join us uh, with Oki Comics, and you can learn all about making uh, superheroes and uh, comic books and what that looks like. So please join us for that, and we can't wait to see you all.